So racial cues, I think, are historically, it's been about the Republicans saying to voters, we, are, we in understand your interests as white people. We, we want to preserve those prerogatives. We will not be affiliated with black interests. And then historically for Democrats, um, or at least since the 60s, it's been how to negotiate the public perception by some whites that they're too affiliated with black voters, right? So um, the classic case, of course, is the Willie Horton ad in 1988 where um, George Bush, the first George Bush, his campaign ran this advertisement on television saying um, that Michael Dukakis, as governor, had, let, had run this furlough program for prisoners in which um, Willie Horton, a black uh, convict, had been released and then uh, supposedly had raped a white woman while being released. So the insinuation, this is you know, a classic example of racial cueing. The insinuation is, if you elect Governor Dukakis as president, we're going to have black rapists running amok in the country, right? So it's playing to white fears about black crime. And that was an incredibly effective, really masterful ad. And he still talked about political scientists now use this as a verb. Like candidates talk about not wanting to be Willie, Willie Hortonized, right? Um, it's, it still sort of sets the bar for racial cueing because it was such a, a masterful example.